the moment the Asaka boys saved Ghana music. In the first quarter of 2020, when Corona hit Ghana and everywhere was on lockdown, the Americans was working in the boots. When every artist was sleeping in their bedrooms, the Americans was in the studio. And during this time, the Ghana drill was born. Nobody was expecting this. We all was watching TikTok. We were watching people making their dance move. There go these boys rapping and showing badness in their videos. Showing how hungry they are to make it in this music industry. It wasn't about film, but this was to make Ghana music a strong part in the real world. Togetherness and their ambition, this guy raised this thing to the top. During this time, people were just listening to random music. Me in person, I was listening to more of a dancehall song because that was when the six was born. So during this time, the Jamaican dancehall was really popping. But for them to drive my mind back to Ghana music, these guys changed the whole feel of how the music industry should be. It wasn't no more of Sakode, Shatawale, Stoneboy. Then we go back to Sakode, Shatawale, Stoneboy. Then we go back to Shatawale, Stoneboy, Sakode. Then we go back to Stoneboy, Sakode, Shatawale. It was more of a cycle. Then one way the other, babies, kiddie, who can pass through it. Then Kwame Uji, who can pass through it. Then King Promise, who can pass through it. And those people who never like these people or these artists so they were listening to that in Nigeria or any other form of artist. But from nowhere, when this guy hit the YouTube or guy did, everybody starts to love this Ghana real. From nowhere, they say they call some guy okay it. They say they got call some guy Reggie or say. They say they got some guy called they bad. They say they got some guy called Kawabanga. They say they got some guy called Yak Talk. And so on. And with their magic and the YouTube or guiding, their song starts going viral. And just not just in Ghana, but worldwide. That's when Virgil Abru starts to give them that shout out. And tell them why he loves their music so much and why they should keep on with their songs. Katafo was jammed everywhere. Then we have sorry. This song made every artist in the American team. Because people start to love or name their favorite artists. And this is where Okenet gets his spotlight. Because in the sorry song, people believe he is the artist that made that song go international. Because of how he speaks in that song, because of how he delivered the English in that song. So with him, most people believe that it's because of him that made that song to go viral. And others who believe that Yak Dog on that beat was a complete beast. To his favorite, that guy, as young as he is, he made that song, that song and he put in the right words to make the song go as much as he did. And we have the ghost people who love that J bad vibe. That kind of demon voice. Just like me. Because J bad has been my favorite. That's how, how he speaks his words. Then that goes that goes to City Boy. His delivery and how he says things is just different because he doesn't care who is listening to the song. He's in to speak his mind. Then we have Kweku. Kweku DMC. This guy speaks in his own ways because that guy was completely a hardworking artist in 2021. They removed to Reggie Jose. The guy that doesn't talk 
much. All you do is just go to the studio and record. Then with Kawabanga, he just come in the song and change how the song feels like. He comes into the song to change the surface of the song because of his vibes, because of his voice, because of how he delivers. It's always a different or different from anyone else. So with this, everybody starts to know the Kumerican hit. Then we have Kofi Jama when he released Air Kosu. That song made this guy. That song made this guy the artist he is now. Because he got the complete attention. And it's not just because of that song. That guy is complete package. He can rap and sound like Tupac. Rap and sound like Sakode. That's everything in his own way. We have other artists who join the trend like Shatawale, YP, Frimpong, Kweku Flake, Amradu, Faith and the whole of our data camera. But before that, tomorrow I have a video on why Amrado save J in 2020. So to re to be ready to check it out uh, tomorrow. And as I'm talking now, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to, to the channel. And also if you are listening to me on Odoma, please follow me. Same on goes to Facebook, on TikTok, and anywhere that you are watching or listening to me now. So with the joining of Shatawale, we have a lot of large figures that brought a lot of controversies. But as bad or positive that that controversy is, it was still a healthy one because it helped the Kumerican team to be stable, as well as the whole Ghana music industry. For the part two of this, kindly follow me now and also hit the bell icon so that anytime I will release a video, you'll be able to catch me live. As well as, please be mind that I'll start a podcast, uh, the podcast and I'm likely to do it live on this channel, on Facebook, and maybe on TikTok. So please follow me on any way so that you will always be here whenever I'm live in my podcast. So please subscribe. Also hit on the bell icon so this video will go as much as you want it to go. Thank you. See you tomorrow on Why I'm Rado Safe Change Rap. Mama, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>